at this point I've been on my motorcycle for a little over two weeks and if you've been following along then you know what I've done but a quick recap is that I rode up to Laconia Bike Week with a couple of Iron Lilies we rode up from Florida and then when we got there we met up with the rest of the Iron Lilies and we did 11 solid days of motorcycle riding we literally rode probably a thousand miles since we were up there from that point I broke off by myself and I went over to ride through the Adirondacks which is in upstate New York and had the best trip of my life. It was the best motorcycle riding I've ever done. It was the best vacation I've ever taken. The places, the cabins that I've stayed in, the things that I saw and did. I flew in float planes. I discovered a ghost town. I met new people. Um, I swim in lakes, and I hate lakes. It's so scary. Um, but it, it, that was really impressive. And from there, I went down to the Cat Catskills, which was equally as amazing, different, but amazing. Um, and then I did something crazy. I got this wild hair and decided that I wanted to compete in the Ride 1K in a Day Challenge, which is also an iron butt. So I did all my paperwork and I decided after riding 3,200 miles and being on my bike nonstop that I would get up and ride a thousand miles to Kentucky. So that's uh, to see my family. So. That's what I did. I wanted to leave out early in the morning, but I was staying at a beautiful bed and breakfast, and the woman was ex extremely nice and spent all night cooking this amazing breakfast, so I didn't want to leave out too early. I wanted to stay and enjoy it. I didn't get on the road till about 9 a.m., and I still had to discover part of the cat skills. So during the 1K in a day, I actually took a one-mile hike up Catterskill Falls and back, and then I just booked it. I got home about 1 o'clock central time in Kentucky, I spent over 16 hours on my bike. I took 12 gas stops. Uh, for 400 miles of those gas stops, I actually didn't even get off my bike. I just pulled up to the gas, put, pumped gas into my bike, and then just took off and kept going because I was trying to get through Ohio before nightfall because the roads in Ohio are horrendous. They're horrible. And I didn't want to get caught in it. I thought the less time traveling at night, the better, the less exhaustion I would be, the less drinking and driving with Friday night drivers. Um, yeah, I just thought it would just be an easier trip. So did that. I wasn't even exhausted. My body was just really sore. Came home, saw my family, took a nap. Actually, I only slept four hours, got up and rode a little bit the next day. I did like 50 miles the next day. And then uh, and then I parked my bike and rested for, I don't know, 18 hours or something. Um, I'm still a little tired from it. I'm still a little sore. Um, I think that, you know, starting it, already riding that much into it, wasn't the smartest idea, but I'm so fucking glad I did. Like I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm and you know I'm not really shocked. I think I'm pretty determined, but um, it definitely was challenging and hard. And I wasn't for certain if I would finish it, so I'm glad that I did. And, and now I'm just here discovering Kentucky. So I'll do more blogs on that later. But that's what I've been up to for now. <laughs>